So you're in the market for a new laptop, but you don't wanna spend a lot of money? Well, I've got one of your best options with me today, so stay tuned. So I wanted to buy my mom a new laptop since her old laptop got run over by a truck. What's funny is that it almost survived, but it just had a cracked LCD. Anyway, I didn't wanna spend more than $400, but I wanted to get something that was fairly powerful, sleek and lightweight. Now I went through a bunch of different laptops and what I ended up with was the Acer E5. Now this laptop isn't actually $400, it's actually $359, but we're gonna do some really cheap upgrades and that's gonna bring it to $400, but I'll get into that a little bit later. Now this is actually a pretty good laptop and it looks really nice as well. Now even though it looks like it's metal, it is actually made of plastic, but it does have like a brushed aluminum look to it and it is pretty thin and lightweight at its thickest point is just over an inch and it actually weighs just under five pounds now as far as build quality goes it has a fairly solid build quality there's not a ton of flex in the screen but unfortunately you're not going to be able to open it with one hand but that's fairly common in this price range the main thing that attracted me to this laptop is the fact that it actually has a core i5 processor that's nearly impossible to find in this price range and i'd venture out to say this is actually the only laptop that i've seen with a Core i5 under $400. It's got a 15.6 inch LED backlit display. Now, unfortunately, the display is not full 1080p and the colors aren't really gonna blow you away, but it's really not bad. It's got an HD webcam that works pretty well. And the speakers sound okay, but they are positioned on the bottom of the laptop. So if you're gonna sit it on your lap, it may not sound that great. Now, aside from the great processor, these are pretty much the type of specs that you expect to see from a laptop that costs less than 400 bucks. But it does come with a few cool extra extras and with just a few bucks you can make this thing awesome and I'll get to that in a little bit. One of those features is that it actually comes with a backlit keyboard. This is something you normally find on a laptop that costs at least 600 bucks but it does come with it and it's really nice to use in a dark room. The other cool feature is an M2 slot. So if you flip the laptop over and remove three screws it's going to reveal an M2 slot two RAM slots and the two and a half inch hard drive. So on the left side, you're gonna have your exhaust vent. You've got a USB type C port, which is nice. Gigabit ethernet, VGA output, HDMI output, and two USB 3.0 ports. On the front, you're gonna have an SD card slot. On the right side, you're gonna have a headphone microphone combo jack, a USB 2.0 port, a DVD RW drive, and your power jack. Now it does come with a four cell 2800 milliamp hour battery. They claim it can last up to eight hours, but you can expect probably about four to five hours out of it. Now overall, this laptop runs pretty good thanks to the Core i5 processor, but the one terabyte hard drive that it comes with isn't the fastest thing I've ever seen, and four gigabytes of RAM isn't really enough in my opinion. Trust me, the very first thing you're gonna wanna do is put a solid state drive in here, especially since we have an empty M2 slot. Now I purposely ventured out to try to find the cheapest SSD that I could find to put in here, and the cheapest SSD I could find, actually the cheapest SSD I've ever seen, was the Micron M600, which is a 128 gigabyte M2 SSD. And I found this thing at Micro Center for $28.99. Yes, 29 bucks gets you a 128 gigabyte SSD. And they have a 256 gigabyte version for $49.99. I actually ended up buying both of them since it was such a good price. Now what impressed me even more than the price was the performance. Now this drive isn't gonna perform like a three or $400 SSD, but for less than 50 bucks for the 256 and less than 30 bucks for the 128, you're not gonna beat it. And while I was there, I bought a four gigabyte stick of DDR4 RAM for under 30 bucks. So that's gonna bring us up to eight gigabytes of RAM. So once I got everything installed, I moved the operator system over to the SSD. So I was able to bring the boot time of this laptop from 90 seconds all the way down to under 10 seconds, which is insane. So now we've got ourselves a really nice Windows 10 laptop. So it's got a Core i5 processor, 250 gigabyte SSD drive, terabyte storage drive, and eight gigabytes of RAM. Now this laptop has specs that you would expect to see in a laptop that costs over 600 bucks, but you're only spending just over $400 for it. Overall, I don't think you can beat this laptop for the money. And once you add the upgrades, this thing is awesome. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. If you found it helpful, go ahead and mash that like button for me. Go ahead and post in the comment section. I'll respond to your comments and I'll see you guys in the next video.